Good day, grade 12 students! Welcome to another episode of Practical Research 2 video lesson series. Today, we are going to talk about the scope and the limitation of the study. For our lesson objective, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to indicate scope and the limitation of the study. Before we proceed to our lesson proper, let's have an activity. Tell whether the given statement is a scope or a delimitation. Number one, it is the domain of your research. Number two, it describes the boundaries of the study. Number three, it identifies the methods used in the study. Number four, it is identified by the sub-variables of the study. Number five, it is identified by the major variables of the study. You have 30 seconds to answer the five questions. Are you ready? Time is up. Let's check your answers. Did you get a perfect score? Let's go to the next part. Which of the following items are possible delimitations of a study? Number one, variables. Number two, sample size. Number three, language. Number four, population. And number five, data collection method. You have 15 seconds to answer. Time is up. Let us now check your work. So the answers are sample size, language, and data collection method. Did you got all items correct? Very good. If not, don't worry. Still got a chance to clarify the concepts. Let us first differentiate delimitation from limitation. When we say delimitation, it aims to narrow the scope of the study. These are choices made by the researchers, and they describe the boundaries that the researchers set for the study. While limitations are the shortcomings, conditions, or influences that cannot be controlled by the researchers that place restrictions on your methodology and conclusions. The limitations, as a researcher, we set it beforehand. On the other hand, limitations is beyond our control. These are the things that we are not expecting to happen but still happens. Where do we usually put delimitation and limitation? Delimitation is placed in chapter 1 or sometimes in the methodology section, while limitation is written and mentioned in the final section of the study, usually in the results and discussion. What about the scope of the study? It is a section of a research paper that explains what information or subject is being analyzed. It specify what is covered in terms of concept, number of subjects, or the population included in the study, as well as the timeline when the study was conducted. On the other hand, the limitation of the study is the part that establishes the boundaries of the study. These sections allows the writer to explain why certain aspects of a study were chosen and why others were excluded. It is also common for a writer to explain chosen research method in the section and explain why certain theories were applied to the data. Therefore, scope and delimitations are two elements of a research paper that informs the reader what information is included in the research and explain why the author chose that information. Although scope and delimitation explain the way a study is limited, this information adds credibility 
to a research. In formulating the scope and delimitation, it is essential that the researcher has already defined the major variables of the study, which are contained in the title of the research and in the general statement of the problem. In writing the scope and delimitation, you can follow this format. First is to specify the coverage of the study. Mention about the general purpose or important details. Next is to explain what information is being analyzed in the study. Then explain the limitation of the research, like the sample size. Um, it may be the population, the target respondents, the time frame or the duration, the geographic area or location, the subjects and objectives. And then the last, state the delimitation of the study. Note that the scope and delimitation of the study must not be set merely for the sake of writing them. You must make sure that there are reasons for the inclusion and exclusion of some variables. Here is an example of a scope and delimitation from the research entitled Predictors of Students' Performance in Chemistry Laboratories of Selected Private Schools. You may want to pause this video to read the text or you may refer to your learning activity sheets number 5. In conclusion, the scope of the study is determined by the major variables of the study while the sub-variables serve as the delimitation. The scope of the study identifies and defines the significant variables that are the focus of the study. It also determines the relevant attributes of each variables. The delimitation of the study identifies and describes the limitations encountered by the study. The limitations of the study may arise from the research design and the methodology and then the specific limitations encountered by the research in the conduct of the study. For clarifications, feel free to contact your Practical Research 2 teachers. Based from your study, identify the components of scope and delimitation. Identify the objectives, participants, time frame, local, main variables, research design, and research instrument. Let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, that is all for today. Don't forget to check the Google link in the description for your assessment. Please don't forget to give this video a hearty act after viewing. This is Sir Jeff. Thank you so much for participating. See you again next time.